So I just arrived um, back back here in um, Florida. How do I shut off my wipers? Okay, anyway, <laughs> it's been raining. Uh, it was about a four-hour trip from northern to down here, and I'm back. I'm back. Look at I'm back where I was, and um, I'm here for oh, probably about two weeks. But, you know, but I'll tell you what, this is so cool because I know. That the Lord brought me here for a reason. I know it's not about me just recovering and rebuilding my immune system. And uh, as soon as I walked in uh, where the receptionist was, she's like, oh, you're back. And I said, yeah. And I told her what happened. She says, oh, yeah, you've got that long COVID. And she said, yeah, it's been hitting people. And I said, yeah, for me, you know, because I'm so immune, you compromised. And uh, so the guy was sharing how he had COVID. He took Elka-Seltzer. <laughs> And she said she had it, and she uh, she couldn't drink anything but um, um, water, um, just plain water, because everything else tasted so horrible. And uh, and then um, I don't know how I got on the subject. I don't know how this happens, but I said, you know, uh, it's been such a blessing because. Uh, so then um, she, uh, we have a, and and these are our little name tags, and I said, oh. It keeps saying I'm from Wisconsin. I'm really not from Wisconsin. She says, well, where are you from? And I said, well, I said, originally I was born and raised in Wisconsin, but I said, that's not home. And she says, well, where is home? And I said, well, I said, well, I guess I really don't have a home. I said, I'm, <laughs> I said, I'm a, I'm a medical missionary. She's like, what? I said, yeah, I'm a medical missionary. She says, oh, that is so cool. And I said, yeah, it, it is pretty cool. I said, um, I just, you know, wherever the Lord leads me. I said, actually, I, I work in places like this. I said, in fact, I was a nurse and I left nursing because of this cancer that I got, this diagnosis, which led me to a place like this, but it was Christian based. And uh, the Lord showed me all his, we call it eight laws of health, you know, temperance, trust, uh, air, water. You know, we do hydrotherapy. She's like, oh, wow, that is so cool. And I said, you know, Satan has come to rob, kill and destroy. But God has come to give me life, life abundantly. And I said, so when people say, oh, you've got, oh, you got cancer. And, oh, you got this. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. This has changed my life. I, I, I was giving out pharmaceuticals, which is poison. And now I have the truth. I have the truth. So it was, um, it was so cool that the Lord um, just gave me that encounter. <laughs> I'm like, and I, you know, and I, I kind of prayed about coming down here and what the Lord wanted me to do. And he's like, you're not done. You're not done. You need to go back. So I'm back. And that was my first encounter. So now I got to go. Um, the, I have a little cottage that I'm staying in. Apparently they just gave me my, my key. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I got a cottage. Um, here I am. And, um, going to rebuild my immunity, but also going to just spread God's word while I'm here. I'm very, oh, and I gave her, I gave her a, a ministry of healing and she was so excited. She's like, oh, thank you. I said, this book will just change your life. I told her, I said, this book will definitely change your life. I said, it just, it just changed so much. It, it you know, and I explained to her, you know, what was in it. And she was so excited. She's like, thank you so much. That is so cool. So, all right. I'm going to, I feel so revived. <laughs> but, you know, I had church the other day and I was just, it was so hard just being in church. And I had to go back home and, and I just, um, well, not home, home. It's my friend's house. But I just passed out. Like I just passed out. And I never pass out. I just passed out and I slept for, I don't know how many hours. Yeah, it really takes a toll. All right. All right, I got to go. God bless. I'm, I'm glad. I, you're going to be seeing more encounters. Please, please pray for me while I'm here. Please. Because I need, I need those prayers. All right. I love it. God bless.